remember this model two phase feed going to preheater heater then separator pump so there are many things that we can do using uh, the calculations that we can do uh, in excel okay so excel sheet what we have already available so that would be used and we'll be taking input parameters from the uh, uh, from the hisis and we are going to put it in excel and see the results so if excel results and hisis results are matching then we can say that hisis has not done it wrong right so we we'll start with the uh, level control wall sizing i'll open my uh, i'll make it half like this and uh, level control wall sizing excel file already available so this folder already i shared with you don't use uh, my excel file use yours okay so going to start with you take control so your job is to to put the data this yellow things okay input parameters from the uh, hisis file to excel file all right so we start with the uh, level control wall so what is the first input that you see liquid flow rate and at this point uh, i would request everyone to open your excel file okay you need to do it in parallel so what answer gunit would get okay the same answer you should also get yes gunit tell me what is the liquid flow rate that you have from the hisis file you can move to the left side all right so you might want to unmute your mic and talk to me what is the actual sorry sir <laughs> uh, 28.59 28.59 so everybody please write 28.59 meter cube per hour as the liquid flow rate okay is already typed mm, yeah. the next is input or say inlet pressure So it is also very important how to get the information from hisis. Okay, it is eight fifty one point three kPa. Yes, so that is what we want eight five one point three kilopascal absolute. Hmm. Shreya, so, ma'am, have you opened this Excel file? Not yes, just uh, yes, your yes. Excel file. Yes. All right, Dhruva, I think you also opened it, right? So my computer is giving hand. Sorry. Computer is giving hand problem. Just a minute, sir. I'll finish. I will open it. Okay. Otherwise, in WhatsApp, I already shared this Excel file. You can use that. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, have you completed this pressure control wall or gas control wall sizing? No. Okay, that was homework. What about you, Gunvik? Not really, not started, sir. Yes. Not started. Okay. And Dhruva sir, what about you? Yeah, PSB problems. Uh, not PS. Ah, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, you are not there for first session. Ah, uh, no problem. Um. All right. What is the next input? Pressure drop. Hmm. Okay. Pressure drop across LCV is. Hundred kPa. You can move that window to the left side. Okay. Hundred kPa. What about density? Okay. Do one thing. Just close this window. Stream number seven. 
Okay, take this LCB window to the little up. Okay, if you go to, uh, uh, not full. You can make it half to the left if you want. Yeah, this is okay. Go to worksheet. You got density, you can get it here also, right? Go to properties. Okay. So what density you'll see? 647.5. Yes. Right. It's already typed. Okay. What about the kinematic viscosity? This we are doing for input inlet stream. Kinematic viscosity. Okay, that is dynamic viscosity. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. so, but we want in meter square per second. So how do we convert from centi stroke to meter square per second? You divide by 1 million. All right. okay. So it will be 0 0.4537 E minus 6. Mm. Yes. That is okay. Mm. okay. Tail kinematic viscosity, everybody has uh, uh, provided input? Yes, sir. Okay. Dhruba, what about you? Sir, I'm watching. Sir. You're what? Sir, you're for, uh, uh, I'm just starting this one uh, from okay. your file. Yeah, yeah, please open that file. Yeah. But sir, here, uh, two, uh, three things are there. One, two, uh, case one, case two, case three. That one. Okay. Yeah, so you only concentrate on case one. Okay. All right. Okay, sir. So, 0 0.45, so that is done. Now, next is vapor pressure. That's good. In the left side window, you can close it now. Because directly, you won't get vapor pressure here. Okay, we need to do something else. So, we'll copy stream number 7. Okay. No, not break. Copy. Right-click. Copy. Okay, and just below 7, there is some empty space. You'll right-click on that. Then paste mm. it. Okay, again, the 7 dash 2 stream is there. Right click on that. So you'll see second last line defined from other streams. Okay, so stream number 7 data we are going to copy and paste in 7 dash 2. Okay. Alright, now double click on 7 dash 2. Uh, Pressure, we want to calculate uh, P sat, vapor pressure, right? So that we need to delete yeah. seven point, yeah, delete it. And the vapor fraction will be zero. So this trick we already used, uh, if you remember, for steam, session five, saturation uh, pressure and saturation temperature for the uh, steam. All right, so if you hover over there, this 2.564 kg per cm square gauge, you will see no pressure. 352.8 kilopascal. Okay, so that is the vapor pressure at given temperature. It's already typed. Now, next is the critical pressure. Okay, so for the same stream, not 7 2, now we should go to 7 stream. Please go to attachments. Analysis. So this we have used to do the line sizing, right? So you can create. You'll learn how to do the get the critical properties. Create. Okay. So we are not going to do line sizing for this, but we need to know what is the critical temperature and critical pressure. So hmm. you go for critical properties, then click add. All right. And you need to select the stream. So what is the stream number seven? Okay. All right. So if you see true PC is there. True PC means true critical pressure. Mm. That says that is pseudo 29.66. Hover over 29.66. So it says 3010 kilopascal absolute. 
that is your yes. critical pressure. Right, so what is the difference between true and pseudo? That ISIS does something. So we'll take uh, true. Okay. You can compare this with uh, literature values also. You can take the pure, you know, pure component like methane and see what is the critical pressure. So that will give you more, you know, uh, confidence to use true PC or true TC. Okay. All right. So three zero one zero kilopascal absolute is the critical pressure. Now, mm -hmm. if you remember the uh, control wall size preliminary, what we have got was two inch for this LCV, and the line size was sixty five mm. From discharge mm -hmm. line sizing, we did that was two and a half inch discharge pipe, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So fifty, we'll use it uh, for preliminary control wall size. Uh, then uh, FL value is 0 0.9. So if you go to LCV, level control wall, go to rating. So there you would see that FL value is 0 0.9. Okay, this is liquid pressure recovery factor. Okay, mm -hmm. so we'll use the same thing. And uh, FD value will keep it 0 0.46 as per table 2. Right? It doesn't really make much of a difference. So we'll keep it 0 0.46. All right, so for this, if you scroll down slowly in Excel, scroll down, it says flow is non-choked. So please check with HiSys whether HiSys has got it uh, non-choked. Go to uh, flow limits. Yeah, same thing. flow limits. It says no choking, right? So ours is also, Excel also says it is not choked. Mm -hmm. So now we can move to the next. Scroll down in uh, Excel. So answer one is not valid by because answer one is for without fittings when the line size and the wall size are same. But in our case, it is uh, not same, right? Wall line size is two and a half inch, mm -hmm. wall size is two inch. All right, so we need to move to answer number two. Okay, scroll down. All right, so if you do. Uh, uh, you see, then uh, A64 cell, mm. and the ratio ratio should be one. If you remember control all sizing, the ratio should be one, and we get it uh, one value by using goal set. Okay, by changing A50 cell is 23.16. Mm. And uh, final KV will be, of course, 23.2, and uh, final CV would be 26.8. Why? Because 23.2 divided by 0.865. The conversion from KV to CV. Mm. All right, let's check with uh, high CIS value. What are you getting? 26.6. Excel is telling mm. 26.8. So we can trust high CIS? Yes. Yes. Are you getting the same answer, ma'am? Yes, 26.8. Okay. So this is your file or the file which I have sent this morning? No, actually, um, I have deleted and doing uh, calculation and in Excel. All right. Sidi, ma'am, good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, this pressure control wall sizing you did? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Yes, so we'll move to the uh, next. Uh, Shravika, ma'am, you will take control now. Yes, sir. I'll close this window.